Not all luck. Y'all look good? Look how clean that looks. Woo! What's up, guys? It's your boy Fast Lane D. And today, we're going to be talking about how to set up this Icon Air Flight Helmet with your GoPro. seem to love this freaking helmet out of all the videos I've made that is one of the most popular videos on my channel now it's time for me to upgrade from my ratchet setup on my old helmet I finally caved and bought the moto red GoPro mount if you look this mount has two little prongs at the top that are going to insert into here and glue onto the visor of this helmet actually a really 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 cool mount cool concept we're gonna test it out and we'll see how it goes. I'll give you guys my honest opinion and review of this mount. Is it worth the 24 bucks? Now, when you buy the Motorrad GoPro mount, it's gonna come with some instructions. Boom, there we go. It's gonna come with some instructions right there. Um, pretty straightforward instructions. And it's also gonna come with an alcohol wipe to help prep the area. So, that's the first thing we're gonna do here. Gotta make sure we get a nice adhesion. All right, now we're gonna peel this tape off the back of the GoPro mount. Stick it on there. We're gonna stick it in, up, and then we're gonna stick it on. Put the suppressor on her. Everything you got. Now, if this mount goes somewhere, something's wrong. My hand is white. There is no blood flow in my fingertips right now. Oh, oh. My hand. All right, you better not drop my GoPro. All right, next, I'm gonna take the J hook. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this up and onto here. Oh, such a good feeling. That's the main thing that sucks with the air flight is that I can't really like casually open my visor and I won't be able to film because it'll be shooting up towards the sky. But hey, that's the sacrifice you make to have this sexy ass helmet. I definitely think it's worth it. Those of you that are wondering, I do record on the GoPro Hero 7. The 8, having to buy the medium mod, the camera's more expensive. And, and this shoots in 4K, 24 frames per second, which is mostly what I do, if I do anything else, I'm gonna use the camera that you're actually, that I'm filming on right now. So this gets the job done for me. We'll see what they come out with at the nine. Hopefully they make it a little bit easier for us to have this big concoction on your freaking helmet. So you slide the back off the case. You're gonna slide the GoPro in and boom. Woo, look how simple that is. Now we're gonna put the GoPro mic adapter. Look at this. Ah, I love how easy this is. You slide the adapter through, boom, look at that. And then it just plugs right in here. Oh man, I love how easy that is. Screwing it on. Right off the bat, I already noticed that this visor is not gonna wanna stay up. Look at that. It's already fallen because of the weight of the GoPro, which, like I said, it's a sacrifice you make for this sexy ass helmet, baby. Come on now, it's worth it. I definitely say that that is worth it. But, here's how it's gonna look. I'm riding, my head's slightly tilted down, so we want to be able to see what's right in front of me here. Your purple panda mic is gonna come with a dead cat. I like to put it on there just to help get rid of any extra wind. And then it's gonna come with a bunch of different adapters. I had some trial and error figuring out which one's which, but I had best luck with this one, which has the two black rings on it that go into the actual mic itself here. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and actually put the actual mic into the helmet. Best way I found to do this is you're gonna wanna pull off this cheek pad. Now I'm gonna pull the cheek pad pad on the right side of the helmet. That's where the mic is gonna actually plug into this GoPro mic adapter. We'll pull this right cheek pad off. Pretty easy to get off. There's three little prongs, whatever you wanna call them. One, two, three, pull those out. You got a little pop snap thing. I don't know the official name for it. Just pop it out. Then you got some Velcro. Boom, you got access. All right, easiest way is just gonna be put it right here. Um, you won't feel the difference when it's on your face. Um, and I'm just gonna say, literally take this bundle of wire, 
and just stick it right in there. Now for me, I'm gonna mount my mic. It has this nice little clip, which is awesome right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it onto a little chin wind deflector down here. I see people mount it in all sorts of crazy places and try and avoid some wind. Honestly, this is the easiest place to do it. You can take some tape and put it somewhere else, but I don't wanna feel it anywhere on my face. I don't want it to be my field of view. I just wanna keep it clean and simple with the install of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it onto the chin mount down here between the dead cat and this little chin thing that should be ample enough to deflect any sort of wind that's going to come in if you're really concerned about the wind noise get an external mic that's going to be your best bet honestly i'll get on clipping on this bad boy right here all right and that's not going anywhere we'll scoot it over so it's out of the way i don't want to even feel it when i'm putting it on boom look at that mic is pointed up so that's not catching the wind noise coming here and the dead cat should deflect any other wind that you should see. Other thing is when I'm riding, like I said, my head is pointed down. So that'll also help kind of prevent some wind. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run those wires. Boom! Look how clean that looks. You can't even see all the wiring back there. I love how I can put this seal on to cover up all that stuff. So it gives it a nice clean look. Like I said, you'd have no idea there's a microphone in this helmet. Versus my last helmet, you can kind of see the wiring down there. We're getting better around here on the fast lane D channel. Last thing you're gonna wanna do is plug in your little adapter, I forgot what it's called, like TCC adapter or something like that. It goes into the mic adapter. Now, if you really want a super clean look, you could take this and kind of use some gaffer tape or some duct tape and just take this to the side of the helmet so that it's not dangling around in the wind like this. But I don't really want to put any tape on this beautiful, beautiful black Rubitone, baby! So... Guys, I just racked my brain for a solid hour scouring YouTube to try and figure out how to mount this. Oh uh, boy. Here's the issue with the Icon Airfly helmet, is that since this camera is mounted on the visor, if you ever wanna open your visor while you're riding, which during hot weather, yes, you're gonna wanna do that because it's hot outside and you wanna get some fresh air. During cold weather, your visor is gonna fog. Uh, so you wanna crack it a little bit while you're at a stoplight to prevent the fogging. The issue is, is that these wires are gonna pull back here from the cheek pad because of its location. And I watched some videos of people running the wires through here. I watched someone mount it onto a visor. I don't wanna stick it on the visor. I don't wanna be able to see the mic while I'm riding. I wanna go see everything in front of me, not the mic. I thought I had this all figured out, but no. <laughs> All right, that's fine, we're gonna roll with it. So for now, I'm gonna set this up, this to where when I'm riding, I can crack it, so I'll leave a little bit of slack, but I won't be able to pull the visor all the way up. It's gonna suck if I'm riding with someone, because I won't be able to talk to them, but final setup of my GoPro. I mean, I feel like that looks pretty clean. You got the mic adapter here, tucked into the bottom. You got this wire running freely underneath the GoPro. So right in between this little J area, where there's some slack. I put it under the camera, and then it comes out through the other side, comes up and out, connects to the actual Purple Panda mic, and it goes through this top slit here. Boom. So, I mean, that's clean. That's what I want. I want a nice, clean look. I don't want any wires hanging out. I don't want any tape on the side of this helmet. This is a pretty helmet. I don't want to destroy it. So, but I left enough slack in the wire to where I can pop this open a little bit, but that's probably the extent of it. Like, I won't be able to go all the way up, which honestly, if I'm motor vlogging, I really don't need to crack it more than this. Um, you won't be able to see what's on the camera anyways if I crack it all the way open. So yeah, that's gonna be my setup for the GoPro. Onto the Icon Airfly helmet. If any of you have a way of mounting this in a clean fashion that doesn't require any tape or me sticking the mic to the visor, let me know. Comment down below. I really appreciate it. This is my temporary setup. I'll just have to suck it up and ride with only being able to crack the helmet open and cracking open these vents. I think I'll be fine. If you're thinking about buying an Icon Air Flight helmet and you want to moto vlog with it, keep that in mind. You run into some issues with doing the chin mount on the front. You could mount it on the side and completely get around all this wiring crap. But I think the chin mount looks the best. 
That's my opinion. I think it gives the best first person view. And we're just gonna roll with it for now. I just won't be able to crack my visor. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Guys, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you got something out of it, if I was able to help you, let me know. Hit that subscribe button, baby. Join life in the fast lane. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Fast lane D's out, baby. Peace. Now look, I look good. Look how clean that looks.